was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in the building, and today I'm going to be bringing y'all the top three two-way point guard builds coming at y'all on NBA 2K21 current gen. Now, the first build that I got coming at y'all is going to be called the two-way playmaker. Now, I'm telling you, after this, the names continue to get even better and on top of all that all of these builds are looked into precisely every single stat is taken care of so do not worry when it comes to that these builds are honestly going to be very nice once you grind them out especially when it comes to the batch count so before we get into the making man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new to the rich gang family as well as any new supporters be sure to hit that like button. I would truly appreciate it. Gonna help us out so much. Go ahead and share this banger with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all. Be sure to turn on post notifications so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Now, when it comes to this build, of course, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is put it under the point guard position. This build is honestly going to come out to be one of the best guard builds that you can make, especially if you are looking to maintain a build that is going to have some really good defensive qualities to it. So when it comes to the pie chart. What you want to go ahead and do is pick the one right here that is going to split right down the middle between the defense as well as the playmaking. Now, when it comes to the physical profile, this is really optional. Depending on what you want to do, is going to be completely fine. But I'm going to go with the one with the 91 speed, 90 acceleration, and an 88 vertical. Now, when it comes to the stats on the finishing, go ahead and put the close shot to a 79. Same thing with the driving layup. Put that driving dunk to a 77 and the standing dunk to a 37 for 6 finishing badges. Now when it comes to the shooting, put the mid range to a 74. Max out the 3 pointer and same thing with the free throw. Go ahead and put the post face to a 59 and that's 10 shooting badges. Then when it comes to the playmaking, max out the pass accuracy and ball handle. We're going to get 20 badges right there. On the defensive side, go ahead and max out your perimeter defense, lateral quickness and the steal. And then from there, max out that defensive rebound and we're going to have a really nice badge count when it's all said and done now when it comes to the body shape feel free to pick whatever one you want height is going to be 6'6 six, six. weight you could go with the lowest if you want to as long as it does not affect any of your speed or when it comes down to your vertical and acceleration then when it comes to the wingspan you could go with 83.4 and as you can see the takeovers we get are still going to be having the lockdown in it but if you go with an 87.0 you could go ahead and test it out it really comes down to the shooting and honestly what you like when it comes to the stats as you can see we got the two-way playmaker with that lockdown takeover and you could even switch up the takeovers if you want to you necessarily do not need to pick the lockdown takeover but let's go ahead and see if you pick the shot creating gonna make this build a lot more different now as y'all can see with the second build we got lined up for y'all the two-way mid-range shooter now this is honestly a build that is not common at all gonna be very rare and when you see it i'm telling you this build is definitely gonna be worth making while your time and on top of all that you get a really nice name out of all of that really reminds you of a kobe bryant build especially when it comes down to the name two way on top of all that makes it so much more better now let's go ahead and get into the actual making so of course the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is put it under the point guard position then when it comes to the pie chart if you were thinking you probably guessed correct we are going to go ahead and pick the pie chart that is split right down the middle between the defense as well as the shooting now honestly i have to say this is easily one of my favorite pie charts especially when it comes to the defense and shooting a lot of the rebounding wing builds and especially the builds that have the wing in their name are made out of this pie chart now when it comes to the physical profile, you can definitely consider the first one if you want to, but I'm telling you, the one right here with the 85 speed, 83 acceleration, but that 83 vertical is the main reason why I decided to pick it. I feel like vertical in every build is going to be a huge factor, and I honestly stick to that. Now, when it comes to the finishing, go ahead and max out your close shot. Same thing with the driving layup as well as the driving dunk. Then go ahead and put the standing dunk to a 28 for four finishing badges. On the shooting, we're going to go ahead 
and max out the mid range and the three pointer. From there, same thing with the free throw, and then go ahead and put the post fade to a 48 for 17 badges. Max out the first two categories on the playmaking. We're gonna get 10 badges right there. And then when it comes to the defense, we're pretty much maxing out everything except the interior defense. Same thing with the block and the offensive rebound. We're gonna be able to get 20 badges, but I'm telling you, a really nice balance and setup, especially if you decide to change a couple of these categories. You can definitely do so, but I'm telling you, when it's all said and done, the build grinded out, especially with their rare name, and on top of all that, you are not lacking anything when it comes to the badge count. Everything with this build is going to be really nice. So, body shape that I'm going to go with is going to be built, but you can honestly go with Burley. When it comes to the height, I'm telling you, 6'5 looks really nice, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. When it comes to the weight, you really have to take into consideration what your speed as well as your acceleration are going to look like. As long as you go with the weight that you are comfortable with and it doesn't take too much of a hit on your physicals, you are definitely going to be fine. But if you want to go with 181, I feel like that is going to be a sweet spot for this build. And then when it comes to the wingspan, this is going to be a huge factor on every single build, especially when it comes to the shooting side of things. So 82.4 looks really good to me. We get that lockdown takeover over sharp shooting shot creating as well as the playmaking whichever one of these you decide to pick i'm telling you all of them are really nice but the lockdown all in all is going to be my favorite and as y'all can see we have got the two-way mid-range shooter i feel like for every single build that can get the lockdown takeover you should definitely consider it and going ahead and pick it especially if it comes down to current gen now let's go ahead and get into the last and the final build that we got for y'all the two-way three-point shot creator i'm telling you the build names continue to get even better so if y'all made it this far i just want to say thank y'all so much but go ahead and let me know right now down in the comments which of the two builds so far do you like and at the end of this video definitely go ahead and let me know out of the three which one is going to be your favorite and why go ahead and rank them one through three i'm telling you i'm only going to be bringing y'all that fire so go ahead and be sure to hit that sub button be sure to come out and show y'all love and support and i best believe that i got y'all with the best and the most fire builds coming for y'all so when it comes to this build of course you want to go ahead and make it under the point guard position when it comes to the pie chart this build again like the past build that we just made is going to be the same exact pie chart split right down the middle with the defensive as well as the shooting this is easily the best pie chart in my opinion when it comes to the defensive builds going to make you a two-way threat literally when it comes to both sides of the ball now when it comes to the physical profile you can definitely go with the first one but i'm telling you the fourth one is definitely going to be my favorite one because of that vertical you cannot sleep on that and i feel like that is ultimately what makes these builds so much more overpowered than normal builds now be sure to follow along exactly as i showed y'all when it comes to these stats when it comes to that close shot go ahead and put it to an 83 driving layup a 75 and max out that driving dunk we're gonna get three badges for the finishing when it comes to the shooting put the midi to an 80 same thing with the three pointer and put that free throw to an 88 for 16 badges when it comes to the playmaking go ahead and max out the pass accuracy same thing with the ball handle and then when it comes to the post moves put this to a 35 for 11 badges now when it comes to the perimeter defense go ahead and put this to an 85 same thing with the lateral quickness max out that steal at a 92 then when it comes to the defensive rebound put this to a 71 go ahead and put the offensive to a 52 and that's going to give us 20 badges on the defensive side with the remaining seven badges go ahead and feel free to put them as you like but i'm telling you do not mess with any of the stats that we have already put on i'm telling you if you want to you can actually change the driving layup to a 77 we're not going to get anything different when it comes to the bath count but right here that is essentially how we're going to go with when it comes to the stats then when it comes to the height for this build, if you want to maintain the build name, go ahead and put this build to 6'1". Then when it comes to the weight, now you obviously 
do not really need to put this build really heavy so you could go ahead and put it to your liking but honestly do not worry too much about it you could go with the lowest if you want to just for a base to start at then when it comes to the wingspan as you can see 77.5 is going to be able to keep us at that 80 range when it comes to our shooting and then when it comes to these takeovers we get the lockdown shot creating sharp shooting as well as the slashing if you want to go ahead and make your own adjustments to this build but feel free to also keep it as is this build is really balanced especially once you grind it out i'm gonna go ahead and pick the lockdown takeover and as y'all can see we got the two-way three-point shot creator thank y'all so much for coming through i truly appreciate it man i got another banger dropping for y'all tomorrow and just know i'm gonna continue to put out these fire builds fire videos and everything that y'all want but man with all that being said y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new to the rich gang family as well as any new supporters i would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and hit that like button be sure to share this banger with your family and friends and last but not least turn on post notice so y'all can see tomorrow's video as well i got one last thing to say rich out